So let's talk about movement and how can you add movement. You already know that you can add some movement to your particles. Um, in, currently you have these two different approaches, linear movements, which means that particles are moving in a straight line or spherical if you want them to rotate around things. So let's start, for instance, let's say that I want to uh, create a random movement. So uh, it's going to be up to nine meters per second. It doesn't matter on all axes. Uh, and I want to add this. So it's going to have all of this random behavior to the particle. So each particle will have a random movement uh, within all of these axes. For instance, imagine that I only want movement to be uh, on the x uh, axis. So if I do something like this, uh, uh, it's going to only ch the movement it's only to be on the x axis. And also an important thing is you could say, okay, I want all particles to have the same movement, which means that they are moving at a constant speed in the same direction, something like that. So if I select same values for all particles, what is going to happen is all particles move, will move with the same velocity. Eventually, I could say, okay, I want, this is only a value, a range, so I want all particles to range from minus and a negative and positive value, so which means that this is going to range in this case from minus nine to nine meters per second. So you, you can see there are particles moving to the right and others moving to the left. Or eventually I could say, okay, no, I want only positive values, so between zero and nine. So all it's going to move in this case to the, the right, but with different velocities. Some will be uh, moving quicker and others moving. Uh, uh, smaller, uh, not slowly. And also, you have spherical movements, which means that yeah, they are rotation kind of movement. So you can change things like azimuth. So let's play, for instance, 45 degrees per second with random. So essentially, you have particles that are moving uh, 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 around. Imagine that you don't want as it would to change, but you want the elevation elevation to change. So you could create something like that. So essentially, this is going to give you information that what is happening in terms of uh, elevation. And also, once again, you can say, okay, I want this for all particles and to make sure that all of these particles are moving exactly the same way so everything is moving exactly at the same speed or eventually like i mentioned only negative and positive range so some move to one side others to the other or eventually simply say okay i want all of them to move to the same position so with different velocities but moving there also besides these velocities you can also change this for acceleration so which means that with acceleration either in a spherical movement or in a linear movement you're going to think they're going to speed up as time goes by so eventually imagine that i want to accelerate the exit so i could do so. so they start let me even say all particles to you can see better so so these particles are starting to accelerate and going further and further, quicker and quicker. So essentially it's acceleration, which means that particles will tend to move uh, much quicker as time goes by. So essentially you can have all of these movements. And of course you can even add different movements on top of each other. For instance, imagine that you say, okay, I want all particles to slightly move to uh, to the left and let's say for instance nine uh, let's say 11 meters per second okay for all particles so which means that all particles are moving there but then i say okay i want this but i also have some kind of randomness and i'm going to add for instance uh, one millisecond in any direction so Essentially, I have 
they are moving to the left but with the slightly randomness so they are moving uh, slightly different on different positions and eventually you could say okay but i also want to change things in terms of velocities random velocities so and rotations and create much more interesting effects so you have all of this nevertheless one of the uh, the features that I'm going to uh, implement in the near future is keyframe animation. So in the future, you will also be able to specify where do you want the particles to be in terms of time and say, okay, at uh, after 10 seconds, I want particles to be over here and then move over there and then come back to here. So eventually there will be another way of doing movement on future versions.